stuff it. Did Afen Lido send the car for Adam Maurice yet? Oh, tell him it's deadline day and we're already paying for his wages. Hello, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> hey, remember last year when you sold Callum Connolly on me? <laughs> yeah, it was so annoying, wasn't it? Oh, you didn't. You've accepted a bid for Tommy Williamson. I knew it. Sir, you can't. Please, I beg of you. Uh, all right, well, how much? Nine million. Who from? Celtic, Schalke, and Porto. Yeah, look, I know it's a lot of money, sir, but look at the bank balance. We don't need it. He's irreplaceable. We cannot get another Tommy Williamson in. Look, I'm getting another call, but I am not happy about this. Hello? Tommy Williamson. Are you calling to say goodbye? Thank me for giving you a chance. You've done what? Tommy, I love you. I actually love you. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 10, Episode 4 of The Impossible Dream with Bile Town. Today we're playing Montrose in the Iron Brew Cup, a postponed fixture due to international call-ups, and then Atletico Madrid as we get our Champions League campaign underway properly in the group stages. But first of all, Tommy Williamson, officially a Bile Town legend, he rejected a contract offer from Celtic, from Schalke, and from Porto to stay with us here at Bile Town. What a hero he is. He's wanted by pretty much every team uh, in Europe. No, not quite that much. But you can see there's some relatively big teams there. And also Birmingham City. Um, and he rejected them. And he, he, well, he wants to stay with us. Uh, it was a, I, think, I think the bids got up as high as 10 million. Um, I kind of inflated one of them to try and hope that if he was, was going to leave, he was going to leave to go there. And he, but he rejected contracts. And he is staying a Barla Town player. I don't know if that's because he's a star player here. Uh, and if he's going to go somebody, somewhere else, that wouldn't be the case. Um, no idea why he would have rejected them, because all of those clubs could have offered him a lot more money than the five, just over five grand a week he's on here. Um, but yeah, Tommy Williamson, legend of Barla Town, chose us over some relatively big clubs. Now, it's not all been great news. If we go and have a quick look at dynamics, we have two unhappy players. The first one here is Connor Gosney. He wants first team football. I can't promise it to him. Um, I don't want to sell him. But it's becoming increasingly obvious that we have... I knew we had too many centre-backs, and I knew that he was probably the one that had to go. Um, and I don't want to sell him, because he's been a really good player for us for a number of seasons now. Um, but I think the time is maybe coming. He's almost made 100 appearances for us. He's been a really, really good, reliable player. The other one is a little bit more problematic, is Juan Me. Now, apparently I'd promised him we were going to strengthen our midfield, uh, which I didn't do to his liking. Um... I'm hoping he'll get over it. In January, we may try and sign somebody. Um, the problem we had was just there was just no one available to make us better that was affordable. Um, and we have a lot of young midfielders as well. We could maybe do with a midfielder. To be completely honest, we could maybe do with a midfielder. But, yeah, hopefully he will get over that and it's not going to affect his performances too badly. Now, there is three games to catch you up on since last episode. Uh, starting with, who was the first game? Against Clonelly Town in the Welsh Premier League. We took an early lead when Vukovic crossed for Averman. And were quickly 2-0 up when Averman turned provider for Ormark. Knelly went down to 10 men before Averman and Ormark linked up again after half-time, before Ormark completed his hat-trick. So a comfortable win this one, Ormark banging in the goals as he tends to do. Averman had a good game, um, generally we were just a little bit too good for them here. Uh, Yamaguchi and Giggs in midfield. Giggs is just starting to show signs of improvement, which is good. That's what we want. He is, of course, part of our initiative to improve Welsh football. Um, yeah, just a good all-round performance. Uh, Dan, Danny Gami is, again, starting to show improvements, which is good. He is, again, part of our initiative to improve Welsh football. And Marcus Baker, uh, right winger, who, of course, came through our academy, um, came off the bench and didn't do too badly either. The next game to catch you up on was against Carna Fawn back in the league again. We went in front through a Billy Cameron volley, his first goal for the club. Ewan Dixon made it 2-0 after half-time. Before Marcus Baker smashed in a third with 15 to play. And Connor Gosney rounded off the scoring. So a really good performance this one, particularly in the second half. We really did kick on. Uh, good to see Billy Cameron getting goals. Uh, a nice volley from him from the edge of the area. Uh, Marcus Baker was the star of this one, though. What a hit for his goal. Um, 
And yeah, hopefully he continues to play well for us. We did bring another youngster, Faulkner, off the bench in this one. Uh, he's naturally a right winger. He's left footed though, so we're trying to retrain him as a left winger. He does have a decent you know, crossing and dribbling ability, so he could be a useful player if we can if we can get the best out of him. Um, and yeah, that was that was that. The final game to catch you up on was against Carmarthen Town. We took the lead with Lolo's first Barlow goal. Damien Olmark tapped in our second. And then made it 3-0 at half-time. He completed his hat-trick early in the second half, before Ewan Dixon got our fifth. So another good performance this one. We were the set-piece specialists in this one. Um, but yeah, we did really, really well. Baker down the right again played well. Olmark just continued to get the goals. Faulkner got the start. Did pretty well. Um... All in all, just again, a really good, solid performance. Garmi came off the bench, didn't do too much, but again, it's all experience for him. Um, and yeah, just really, really, really happy with how things are going in the league. Uh, we can see the league table here. Uh, we've got uh, 15 points from our five games. Bengal City doing okay. They've only drawn one game from their first seven, so they're looking a decent team. Um... And yeah, we can see the New Saints in Afen Lido there as well. Now, one thing we do have to catch you up on, speaking of Afen Lido, is we have loaned out a player to them. And that was Adam Maurice. Um, we've loaned him out there for the season. We're paying essentially all of his wages. Um, basically, I want Afen Lido to become a good team. They have, I think, the best player outside of us in that. Is it uh, Wade? What's he? I can't remember his first name now. Um, we've already loaned off Dan uh, Owens there as well. So I, I, I'm sort of backing Afen Lido here sort of by circumstance and that they're coming in for our players to hopefully um, kick them on. Now, one other out that you may have noticed here, which is a real strange one. Guto Kingsley off to uh, Kaisik Uh We didn't get the fee I would have liked for him. Only 16.5, potentially rising up to 20.5. We do have a 20% sell-on clause. I tried to get more, like less upfront and more cash for him, but uh, that, that's what they kept coming back in. They, they wouldn't come in when I offered him out, but they kept coming back in with this same bid. So... Good luck to him. I hope he does really well. It's a bit of a strange one, but he's not good enough for us, but he's definitely good enough to be, uh, you know, a, a decent player. So, um, yeah, let's wish him well. But uh, he was never really established in our team. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see exactly what becomes of him. Now he's off in Germany. Uh, all right. So that is everything caught up on. Let's go and have a look at what we are doing here now against uh, Montrose and the Iron Brew Cup. So you can see we are the favourites, but we've been here before in the Iron Brew and struggled horribly. Montrose are 12 to 1 outsiders. Quick look at what we're expecting here. They are a Ben Head uh, Hennigan, I guess that is, coach team. Um, a very, very good manager, actually. Look at that. He is far too good to be managing down in Scottish League One, I would say. A very cautious, direct style of play. We can see they are currently second in League One uh, in Scotland. So that's what, third tier, isn't it? Um, quick look at what we're expecting here at 4 4 2. Uh, we can see positional heat map there. Very, very spread out. I'm going to say we could run the show in midfield if we play our cards right there. Um, we can see their passing network and key passes as well. And this is the team we're sending out. Now, obviously, we have to favor um, the, the Atletico Madrid game. So it's not full strength, but hopefully, it will be good enough to get the job done here for us. So it's going to be a first start for Dimitri Hughes in goal. He's a good goalkeeper. We need to play him so we develop, so he gets to start in this one. Montgomery, O'Halloran, uh, KDH, and Gosney at right back in this one. Uh, it's Owen and Cheney in midfield. Cheney, we, as I said, we are short of midfielders, which is where one me does have a point. Um, it's going to be Ab Gareth and Sean Davies going wide. Now, I know that uh, Fel just sitting in here right now. I am, once I get into the game, going to push him up. So we'll have a target man and Tate uh, for a two up top. I don't want to stuff around before we get into the game. We'll sort of ruin my, it'll sort of save it in here, right? So that's the lineup. Um, hopefully we're good enough to not have an iron brew choke against Montrose. All right, here we go. They are coming in the 4-4-2. As I said, ignore this. Felge will be pushing up once they get a chance. We can see we've got a Dabu in goal there. Um, and yeah, well, uh, I almost, the Iron Brew almost scares me more than the Champions League qualifying at this point. It's <laughs> completely in my head. Uh, Challenger team to pick up where they left off. Um, just keep the run going for me, boys. Some calm, we have faith. Uh, this will almost certainly be the last game uh, of sort of wins in a row if we can get the job done. And here we go. Yeah, we're on a really good run of not conceding goals, of winning games, of not losing games. And that will almost all certainly come to an end after this one when we go and play uh, Atletico Madrid. But... Yeah, like I said, we've got to make sure we win this one. Apgareth loses out. Crossy, and you're kidding me. It's offside. 
I don't understand. I don't understand the mental block we appear to have in this Iron Brute. And you can tell I'm worried about it. <laughs> it's completely in my head. We should have absolutely no problem in beating a League One Scottish club. But I'm more, as I said, I'm almost more worried about this than I was about uh, Red Bull Salzburg. Gosney wins the ball back, gets it forward. We cannot keep possession. Galloway comes forward now. Can we get a block in here somewhere, please? No, we cannot. And that time they have taken the lead. I fully expect to lose this game. And I don't know, I don't know what to do about it. Um, yeah, we've lost out there. I'm wondering if we should maybe look to exploit the middle. It's horrible defending. It's absolutely atrocious defending. Um, yeah, and we're at home as well. That's the worst thing. All right, here we go with Cheney. Gets the ball forward to nobody. And Montrose come forward again. Can we get a tackle in here, please, boys? It doesn't appear we can. Galloway comes forward again. Can we please defend, boys? And there we go. All right, uh, let's try exploit the middle. It does look as though there is some space in there for us. Uh, look, we can look for the overlaps then and hopefully get something. Look at this. We have not had a shot on goal yet. What is wrong with us? Um, another set piece to defend. I tell you what, if you were watching this game, you, you, you wouldn't pick us as being the Champions League team, would you? And that is 2-0. This is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Should I have given a goalkeeper a debuting goal? I mean, you could argue possibly not, but I mean, he's a good goalkeeper and he's going to have to play eventually. It's a little bit unlucky, but it's just outrageously bad. It's outrageously bad. What have we done? What are we doing, boys? Show some passion. I cannot believe what I'm watching. I cannot believe what I'm f***ing watching. Unbelievable. Um, let's lower this tempo. I mean, let's learn to defend, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I don't... We haven't been in this game whatsoever. Let's try closing up the lines. Perhaps we're too open. Um, oh, the goalkeeper's having an absolute nightmare, isn't he? All right. Oh, my gosh. We have possession. We have possession. Everybody, no one panic. Let's see if we know what to do with it. Montgomery comes forward. There's Feld. Around the corner ball for Sean Davies. Can he get us back in this tie? No, he cannot. Come on. That was a little bit better, though, wasn't it? Corner now to come in. Cheney to take it. Can we find someone in the middle? No, it's headed away. Ap Gareth picks it up. What can he do? Cross back in. It's bouncing around. Can we get a foot in here somewhere? It's there. It's Tady's offside. A little bit unlucky there, but he was definitely offside. Let's uh, demand more. Yeah, this, it, it's unlucky, but he's he's really got to be staying on side there, doesn't he? Uh, Ab Gareth is having a poor game. We do have Baker on the bench. We might have to make that change at half time. Um, I think my biggest struggle at this half time is going to be not punching anybody. I cannot believe we're three nil down at home to friggin' Montrose. That is just unbelievable. Uh, I have faith in you, mate. I don't know what else to say to the goalkeeper who is doing his best impression of Tennis Kovic versus Manchester United. Uh, all right, so Ab Gareth, I'm sorry, mate, but you have to come off. Um, do we need to stick someone back? Let's go more direct. Let's get early crosses into the box. Um... Yeah, let's try that. Let's get creative. If we can get an early goal as Felge stands over a free kick, you back us, I think. There we go, Jake O'Halloran, two and a half minutes into the second half, brings back a goal. 3-1, and can we have an incredible turnaround here? We're more than good enough to do it. Absolutely, we are. Rene Felge with the assist. O'Halloran's first of the season, and he's just about onside as well, which is nice. All right, come on, boys. Let that inspire us forward now. Come on. Please, boys. Davis isn't having a good game. 
we're going to make changes. Uh, it's not working, is it? Tate's having a poor game. I'm going to bring Gami on for him. We're going to play him in here. Uh, Gami, can you be an advanced playmaker for me, please? We're going to play Cheney as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, Felge, you can go on attack, I think. And let's see how that goes for us. I've maybe been a little bit guilty of kind of falling between two formations here, but it was just the way with, with kind of injuries and also uh, the, the uh, not Real Madrid, the Atletico Madrid game. It's not, it's not been great. But, yeah. I just keep coming back to it. We should be more than good enough to beat Montrose. I don't understand why... The Iron Brew is just such a mental block for us. That's offside, surely. Um, all right, let's get stuck in. Let's go the. Let's go put pressure on them. Um, we'll counter press them. And yeah, we'll see if we've got twenty minutes to save ourselves. If we can get a second goal. I, I, again, I'd, he's a mile offside. I'd, I would start to... I, I still think we can win this. We just need to get our fingers out of our backsides and start trying to, to do something here. We've got another free kick to defend. They've been at least our equal as a penalty. Can Dimitri Hughes do something constructive? No, he cannot. He jumps out of the way of the ball. And we've been thoroughly beaten here. We can have absolutely no complaints. How much of it is down to the goalkeeper? I mean, he didn't cover himself in glory in the first half, did he? But this has been atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Just end it. Just end it. I, I am I'm so angry. I am so, so angry. So poor finishing cost Bala Town in surprise defeat. It's absolutely out. I want to fine everybody. I want to cry. I want to punch people. I cannot believe what has just happened there. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go calm down and we'll be right back for Atletico Madrid. Okay, as everybody calm down, welcome back. And we are about to face Atletico Madrid. But first of all, you can see our youth and training facility upgrade has been completed. And we're going again. Um... Unfortunately, we're not quite at state of the art yet, so we're doing the training facilities and the youth facilities. You can see they're about 10 million all up uh, for the two just over. Uh, so that's fine. We do have a quick update of them. Um, I was hoping this would be us at state of the art, but it's not. It's superb youth facilities now and excellent training facilities. So I'm assuming after superb must come state of the art, surely. Um, so hopefully this time next season, the youth facilities will be state-of-the-art and we'll be two away from uh, getting training facilities done. This is expensive, isn't it, updating the, the, uh, the facilities. But, so yeah, I mean, it's 10 million each year more, obviously, going up each year to, to get them done. So the sooner we can get that done, uh, obviously, the better that will be for us. Um, now, one other thing in the build-up to this one, Atletico Madrid's manager is Allegri. Uh, and Allegri's been giving it to us almost unnecessarily, I would say, uh, in the press. An easy opponent. I mean, it's like, all right, Massimo. Like, you know, we don't all have the, the, the might of uh, the Spanish league behind us. Um, Atle Atlanta United are really, really interested in signing Sam York as well, which isn't going to happen. But, um, yeah, they, they just seem to want him really, really badly for some reason. All right, let's go and have a look at what we're up against here. Atletico Madrid, as you would imagine, are the favourites, but 7-4. to four. That's not too bad. I mean, you think back how bad our odds used to be uh, when we first got into the Champions League. That is, that's not too bad at all. Now, they are, of course, a Massimo Allegri coach team. And in his defense, if he came to scout us beforehand and saw us play that Montrose game, I don't blame him for thinking we're an easy opponent. But he's a good manager, uh, a balanced standard style of play. So what we're expecting from them, um, you can see there, a, a sort of a 4-3-3 a three, three formation. Um, heat map there. Looking at that, I think they're a little bit narrow. I do wonder if we'll be able to sort of choke the middle of the field a little bit. 
uh, and stop them from playing. We can see their passing network there and their key passes as well. And this is the team that we're sending out, the heroes, to hopefully get us off to a good start in the Champions League. It's Tennis Kovic in goal. It's Lolo, Goddard, and Wani. Hopefully, his being unhappy will not affect his performance. Norrington Davies down the left, Ignatiewicz down the right, Brewerton with Murphy and York. He doesn't have a good... They don't play well together, apparently, but they've never done too badly for us, so we'll hope for, that they uh, those trio get a good uh, good game for us. It's Big Mac, uh, Heinz Mackmire, and Tommy Williamson, the hero that turned down clubs to stay at Bala. They go up top. Let's see what we can do. I mean, let's be honest, we can't do much worse than we did against uh, against Montrose, can we? So hopefully this will be a good performance. Is that Lew uh, Lewis Clark? Yeah, a cook, I should say. Uh, I mean, they have a good team, don't they? How old is Clark now, actually? He must be getting on a little bit. Um, I'm getting to decide the point here, aren't I? Transfer listed as well. Um, so there we go. Let's. Uh, why are they starting a transfer listed midfielder in a Champions League game? Anyway, um, what do we say to this? Go out there, prove a point. I'm going to say we've got to be better than we were. I expect to see a much better performance tonight. That's the only thing we can say, isn't it? Um, tougher opposition, but we've got to be a lot better if we want to get out of this with any sort of dignity. And here we go. Welcome back to Champions League Group Stage Football at the Racecourse Ground in Wrexham. And... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic here. We've done well in Europe so far this season. Um, so let's hope we can... If we can take anything from this game, obviously, it's a massive, massive result for us. We're through 15 minutes, though. They haven't had a highlight as of yet, which is fine. We'll tell them to get creative. They're dominating possession. But arguably, you would expect that. Um, we do have wingers on the bench, so we are able to switch to that if we need to. Let's give it a concentrate. Just make sure that we don't get overconfident here. Half an hour gone, and we have the first highlight, and it starts with Atletico Madrid. Come on, boys. Hold your shape. Hold your shape. Can we get a foot in? Get them on the break, I wonder. There's a decent pass into a wide area. We are defending narrowly. I do wonder there if... Oh, the corner flag has done us a massive disservice. Is that a little bit of bad luck that's going to come back and haunt us? Jimenez, or whatever his name is, gets it back there for Cook. Cook spreads it wide. Can we win that? We can. Williamson, but Castillo keeps possession for the Spaniards. Oh, they're pinging it around us, aren't they? We've been caught out a little bit there at right back, and they shoot into the side netting, and that is fine. All right. We actually didn't look too bad defensively there, did we? I don't want to uh, get a little bit get overconfident here, but... They didn't, they didn't break us down. They took a shot from a tight angle, and we get to half time tied at zero. So this is where I usually stuff things up. Um, we've been the better team. I'm pleased. Um, unlucky. I'm ple am I pleased? I don't know if I'm pleased. Um, what about if we do a get back out there, grab the goal to win it for us? Is that a little bit too ambitious? Ryan Murphy on a booking, mate. Please just watch your step for us. Uh, and then players here that are individually not having the best match ratings will tell them that we expect to see a little bit more. And hopefully, positive for the overall team because the overall team has done well, but individually these match ratings aren't the best. Um, so we'll hope to see a little bit of a reaction from that as well. Uh, we've got a pressurized one. Me. Come on, mate. Just please, please be good. Tennis Kovic. And let's get back out there. You've got to say, as a first half, that, was, that wasn't that was bad. We've really, really limited them to the you know to chances. Sam York's not having a great time in there. One thing we could look to do, we've got a corner to defend here. It's been an Achilles heel in Europe pretty much since day one. Brewerton heads it clear. David Nerez has it. Can we get a block in on the cross? Still bouncing around possession there for Atletico Madrid. Can we force them to shoot from distance? If they do, that's kind of a minor victory for us, isn't it? They come forward again. A little pirouette there. Can we get a block in? Oh, not quite. Overlapping run. We get a block in, but it's still with Atletico Madrid. We can't get a foot on the ball. One thing we haven't seen from us, really, is an attacking intent. Oh, oh go away, Lewis Cook. We've made them shoot from distance. And they've only gone and put it in the back of the net. I'm going to say that's... I mean, it's almost a moral victory, isn't it? The fact they've had to do that. We've... Yeah. Lolo has maybe just left his man a little bit there. And that's perhaps what's cost us. We've got another highlight now. Are we going to fall in a heap here? Let's hope not. Come on, boys. Get a block in. Can we get a block in somewhere? 
If we're only one goal down, there's obviously a chance. But if we were to go a second goal down, we'd be in trouble. Norrington Davies with a header clear. But still, we can't get this ball away. And it's two goals in very, very quick succession. And just like that, you could argue the game is gone. Again, it's a shot from a long way out from a tight angle. A decent header away by Norrington Davies. Decent defensive shape. And I don't know there's much you could do. I Could you blame Tanis Kovic? It is a relatively tight angle. Um, should Mackmeyer have stayed on his man, perhaps? But we got back. I mean, you don't, you don't mind them shooting from there, do you? That's the thing. Uh, all right, Sam York's not having a good game. So we're going to bring on O'Halloran for him. And we're going to bring Lolo forward. Um... I do wonder if, if Sam York is just maybe hitting his limit of where he's good in Europe. Um, yeah, I mean, he's done okay last year. It's just maybe an off day for him. Let's try taking it off hit early crosses. Let's try lowering the tempo. Demand more. Can we get something, get ourselves back into this game? Um... All right, let's try wingers. Thankfully, Liverpool's taken a lead there. Uh, let's try wingers, and we are essentially desperate at this point, aren't we? So, Shadow Striker, uh, target man on support. Vukovic on for Brewerton. Yeah, I don't th think that makes sense. Um, yeah, Goddard's having a poor game at the back, so Averman comes on for him. And we just have a go at it, don't we? We just see if, if we can get anything out of this game. Uh, obviously, what we don't want to do is get smashed. But, I mean, that this group was always, I think, going to be between us and um, young boys. So, as long as they're losing, we don't really have too much to, to lose here. Uh, it's unlikely to come down to a three-way tiebreaker. And again, a decent first half, and they just came out. How many times do we see it in Champions League football? Decent first half, and second half, we just can't kick up a gear and go with them. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we didn't particularly lay a glove on them, did we? So, youthful Bala Town come unstuck. Allegri's changed his tune. Um, and yeah, that's a really disappointing episode, needless to say. Iron Brew is that... I, I, I'm both determined to win it, and I friggin' hate that competition at the same time. Um, Champions League, I don't think we expected too much more than that at home. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing, but I would never... I do not understand why we can be so free-scoring and qualifying, get to the group stage, and really, really struggle. It, it really does surprise me. But there we go. If you... Thumbs up. Just hit thumbs up for me on this one. Give <laughs> give me something um and we'll be back next time we have the new saints we have uh, the wags going out of course the wags brilliantly named by i think it was ryan moss uh welsh academies and ap gareth for wag uh brilliant so the wags will go in that one and then we'll be back next time to have a top of the table clash against bengal city and then we go to anfield um which last time we were there we lost six nil until then guys i've been Aussieville, and thank you so much for watching take care